besties, welcome back. I'm so excited for this video. As you guys know, I love book thrifting. Book thrifting is a tried and true on this channel, truly. I post book thrifting vlogs all the time and I love it. I love showing you guys my like thrift store selection of books, but this is a little bit of an interesting video. I went to the thrift store and I literally found the best books ever, like so many popular books, genuinely one of my best book thrifting ever, and I had no plans to vlog it, but it was so good that I took out my phone and I vlogged it for y'all, and so I didn't really have an intro or a conclusion to this video, so I'm filming one now. But I filmed everything on my phone, but the selection was absolutely incredible, like, chef's kisses you have to see it to believe it basically it's so good i just wanted to do a little bit introduction for this video and you'll hear voice over me really really soon hey besties this is voice over me i'm so excited to show you everything i found at this goodwill the selection was incredible this day i don't know what was in the air but it was absolutely incredible my goodwill already has their halloween decorations out so that's what you see in the background anyways this is just a little sneak peek into what i will find the inheritance game lily King which these are all on my TBR so that's already like a good sign and then outlawed I've seen this book before I think it was popular on my bookstagram for a little bit but I saw it here now and I was like oh my gosh this is like a great time One last stop, which this is the same author who wrote red white and royal blue just great books like you can't beat it But let's do the official overview. So this is bookshelf number one. This one has a lot of hard covers. So you'll see like a lot of book of the month, a lot of just hard covers, as I said. I did not mean for that to sound so sassy, but it did. So here we are. I found this cute little corner of some like really popular books. We have Ellen Hildebrand, is, I think is how you say it. Summer of 69, which I heard a lot about this author and I've been wanting to read this from this author in the summer, but I never got a chance to. Um, Emma Straub, Emma Straub, I almost went to, I think they open Books Are Magic in New York or like Brooklyn, which is in New York, so makes sense. Um, I never got a chance to visit there, but I know they're like an author who founded a bookstore, so that's really cool. A bunch of more popular books, like after looking at this bookshelf that I never get lucky in, I knew the selection this day was like going to be top tier. So I pan over to this bookshelf and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is an excellent selection. Like you saw that selection, right? <laughs> also, I just sneeze. It had a bunch of popular picks, but I feel like Colleen Hoover really stood out there just because she's so popular and you could really spot the spine anywhere. But I decided to still peek around it before I really look at that book selection. I couldn't help myself. There's so many good books there. So I went towards it right away. I saw some Mary Kay Andrews. I don't know what this book is, but I think it's like from Target or something. Chicken Sisters, which I've seen a couple times. It's like a Reese book club pick or something. But now here we have it, It Ends With Us. You'd be surprised how many times I've seen It Ends With Us at a bookstore, like a thrift store. This is, I think my third time, which is like pretty wild. I'm like shock. I take another peek around and I see like a book hidden in the back and I always like am curious what people are hiding at like the book selection because I am one to hide books at the book selection 100%. I always hide books and I wait until it's like that day or like that week of color so I can get 50% off and so when I saw this book was hidden I was like what book is this and I wasn't really too sure on it but I think it's like a thriller but I was like if someone's hiding it it must be good. Then I saw this arc which is by Lisa Jewell and I think they wrote 
a YA thriller, but this is an arc. So, you know, arcs are very, very cool, very, very popular if it's from like very, very popular authors. So I thought that was very special to find. I saw this bookshelf on top of like the book selection and I was like, how perfect. I will probably need a new one after buying this many more books. So here we go. Also, as I was like looking around in the YA section, is after like the series a part of YA? Also, side note, this was part of like my high school reading curriculum. So how cool is it that it's in the thrift store and I had to buy it at like full price when I was in high school? And I didn't even read in high school, like not even at this point in time yet, I don't think, I'm not sure. Just a little thought. Anyways, back to the after series. Is after a YA series, cause it was in the YA section, but are the movies rated R? Like, isn't that a little weird? I think it's weird, but maybe it was like a misplaced book. I, it might be an adult romance that they misplace in the YA section, so. Now I'm looking at some more fiction. I found A Man Called Of, which I've been wanting to read now that the movie is out, but I lost my copy or I sold my copy. I can't remember, but it's like a thrift store classic now because there's two of them here and you'll see the other one later. But I did want to talk about the parody of Fifty Shades because I thought that was so funny, like Fifty Shades of Earl Grey. I did not know this book existed, but I guess they're doing this now. Now we're back in the YA section. I like to bounce back and forth just because it tends to get crowded in my bookstore or my thrift store. I keep on saying bookstore, but it's a thrift store. But I found Shadow and Bones, which I think it's a show now. I can't remember what like is being adapted into movies and shows, but I was like, this is so cool that so many books that are being like into film are like at the thrift store. Then I saw this book that's like, I want to be where normal people are, and it was like $6.99, and none of the books are at that price point, which is like absolutely wild. Books at the highest is like $4.99, and I didn't see any today that were $4.99, so I thought that was a little strange. Then I saw this really cool book. I thought the cover was so beautiful and next to it was a code name Verity, which I don't know about, but whenever I think of Verity, I just think of Colleen Hoover because that is a very popular book. To be honest, I'm really shocked with the YA section. I feel like the YA section never has anything really good, but today they had so many amazing books like this one and like this one, which is I Hate Everyone But You. I don't really know much about these, but the covers look really amazing and they sound really intriguing. So that's like a win for me because my YA section usually sucks. But now we have a little haul of like what's in my cart. So we have Shadow and Bone, Paper Wood, Wishes, and this is the book that was hidden and it is called the mother-in-law we have outlawed five tuesdays winter which is a bunch of short essays and i'm really intrigued to read this one last stop by casey mcquiston the inheritance game which i'm so excited for As I was filming my book stack, I decided to go through the bookshelf one last time and I saw this manga and I was so excited because I feel like you never really see mangas at the thrift store or at least I don't and it was just really cool to see and it was just so exciting. 
wasn't that the best book selection you have ever seen or especially for this channel because I do a lot of book thrifting and I've gotten pretty good and I've gotten like really good luck but this was genuinely a case that has like outside the universe. I couldn't believe it and I'm so happy I started vlogging for y'all. Like everything I do, I have to share it with you guys. So I'm glad I could share this little piece with you. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Also, let me know what was your favorite book that I found or what has been your best book thrifting find. Like, I need to know. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys.